afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back here at the public forum at the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries. You are very welcome to come and have a seat if you can still find one. I know it's getting crowded here. Uh, the drinks are complimentary. There are two lovely ladies that will come around and serve you with the drinks. Also, I'd like to say hello to all our online guests. So not only this uh, area is crowded here, but also the area at home or in different nations. We are live streaming from the fair here at Hanover Fairground. My name is Mona Lee and I'll be your moderator for the next 15 minutes. And besides uh, me, you can see Mr. Per Vassin, the CEO of PowerCell. And we'll be discussing a new fuel cell off-grid solution. But before we'll come to that, please welcome him with me here on stage. Welcome. Thank you very much. So, PowerCell is a Swedish company that has been coming here for several years now, and we've been here last year on stage as well. But for those of you, for those in the audience who don't know the company yet, could you give a brief company introduction? Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm happy to be here again. Uh, PowerCell is a spin-out from the Volvo Group. Uh, we started 2008 uh, and uh, we are moving more and more to commercialize our products. Uh, and we have, uh, as we have the background from the automotive industry, we have developed our stack mainly for that purpose. But we also see that there are a lot of other customer segments and to make sure that those modular scalable platforms could be used in different uh, segments. We have developed a modular system which we can then capitalize because we will with that have small volumes added together and to that create scale of efficiency. And before we will talk about your products, I would like to know a few company highlights because I know there are a few highlights that can, can be well announced here. Yes, uh, last year we uh, introduced our S3 stack in a truck application. Uh, it was the company Coop in Switzerland who have decided to successfully replace all their diesel engines in the trucks and they say that they start to produce hydrogen themselves. They put up their own tank stations and then they really now are testing trucks with fuel cell stacks and that is our S3 stack. That is your S3 stack. So what other types of stack are in the company uh, products? Yes, range? we have a range of S1, 1 to 5 kilowatt, S2, 5 to 35 kilowatt and S3, 20 up to 100 kilowatt. And it could also be a multiple of 100 kilowatt. That means we can also go into stationary applications. And what type of fuel cells are there because fuel cell always need a different type of fuel so what on what fuel do your um, fuel cells run uh, because that we have the background from the automotive industry we said that we need a very robust system so therefore we are working with steel as a bipolar plates and we use PM as uh, the membrane so using the PAM electrolyzers and you're using steel that is rather unusual there are some fuel cell systems that use platinum which is rather expensive yes and that's the main reason i mean we, we use the traditional stainless steel uh, we have in fact a german producer who produce the bipolar plates for us uh, and uh, with the system we have it's also very scalable uh, and that's one advantage we have especially now when we go into china with the s3 stack as a range extender we will have that opportunity to really come up in big volumes and also reduce the price. And do you think that uh, the systems that you offer right now already have reached the stage of commercialization? Yes, when it concerns S1 and S2, uh, they are in that uh, position right now. Very good, and especially for the Chinese market where we now also see big governmental money coming into a and uh, if the stack is above 30 kilowatt net, you will have a big uh, money from the government. And that's the reason why that stack is a very good position there together that is used and developed for the car manufacturing. So, so the, the application or the usage of those stacks will be mainly in automotive? No, in fact, the S2 is modular, and that's the reason why we pre will present the PS5 here later. Mm -hmm. 
So that will be later on, um, just in a few minutes. Um, I would also like to confirm that Powercell has been a very successful company. Whenever I pass by the booth, the booth is crowded with people and it's really hard to talk to someone because there are just so many people interested in the stack. That's right. Uh, we were happy for that, of course. So, uh, c congratulations. Um, so, um, there's something new, not a new invention, but something, a, a new product that you have. But before we talk about the product, I would like to put on a picture on the screen. And that is, that is unfortunately not my house, <laughs> and it's not your house, but can you tell me more about this house? Yes, this is uh, not a typical Swedish house, but this is uh, the future house in Sweden, I would say. Uh, we understand, like you in Germany, that we must close down our nuclear stations. And that means we must find a way to store each energy. Uh, and what we will replace it with is solar panel and wind power. And in this case, uh, this house builder started to put in a lot of batteries and try to store the energies with many batteries. Uh, but after a while, he came to the conclusion that Sweden is quite dark. Uh, it's a long period, uh, many months. So the battery, the length of them was only for some few days. And then what does he do in winter times now? Yes, what, what he did was in fact he went down here to Hannover and then he went around and then he ordered a stack from us. Okay. Uh, so we, uh, that stack is now built in into the house. So what he do, he produce his own hydrogen during the summertime, mm -hmm. where we have a lot of solar in Sweden. Uh, that what he not use, of course, is produced by electrolyzer. He store it uh, with hydrogen in the garden. And then in the winter, he use our PS5 system, which produce not only electricity, because that we are coming from the automotive industry, all our stacks are water-cooled. That means what's not only electricity, who also received 80 degrees warm water for heating the house. So that means that this house runs 100% on renewable energy? That's right. It's an uh, off-grid house, uh, and that's new because many people are very angry paying the bills to, to uh, those companies, uh, I will not say the names, uh, <laughs> but to be off-grid is a very good thing to be. And if you can be that and take care of it yourself. The person here, in fact, produced hydrogen also for his future hydrogen car. That means the surplus will not only be used in the winter, he will also use it for his car. So let me summarize. This person, who I'm very uh, jealous of, has a house and has solar panels. That's right. So the energy that is not used, the overproduction, let's say, is stored with the, uh, with the own hydrogen production, which I will ask a question to later. And then in winter time, so at night time, all the energy can be used, plus the emission, let's say the heat emission, is used for the heat to heat the house. That's right. And then we all know that to produce hydrogen we need an electrolyzer. Are you also providing the electrolyzer? No. Uh, in fact, we, there we have different partners. Uh, and over a while you came to the conclusion that many people would like to have one-stop shopping. Uh, that means someone who take care of the system and deliver the turnkey solution. So if I'm interested, for my little house at home, mm -hmm. um, to have a fuel cell system like the PS5, which would perfectly fit in my basement, mm -hmm. what else will I get from the day one till fi uh, in five years? Yes, I mean, uh, the situation you have is that you have to understand how many pan solar panels you need. And after that, you have to dimension the electrolyzer, you have to dimension the fuel cell stack and how big tank you would like to have. Uh, if you also would like to have your own fuel cell car in the future and you would like to tank it at home, you have to consider that before you order it. So I don't have to think about anything. You will have the complete package for me? 
and I just sign a contract and I get the whole system. That's uh, the ID and, and the reason why we have set up a joint venture and I will come back to that later on here was just that. We would like to have an opportunity to offer the total package. Okay, so and if I already have an electrolyzer, I want, want uh, a different electrolyzer that's also possible to purchase the system. Then you can well, only buy uh, the fuel cell stack itself uh, or you buy separately the tank etc. It's uh, up to you. Okay, this is this is and since when has the house been running on 100%? We, we have run it over one year right now. Uh, we have tested it and we have uh, seen how much uh, you can store over a year. Uh, how much you can use for your future car and uh, the outcome from it and he is extremely happy because the sun is free of charge. And then there's always one question, well, we all want green, that, that is something that we are all pushing here for and especially Powercell is a 100% green uh, company. Um, what about the cost? Has anybody done the math yet? Yes, we have done the math. Uh, and of course, we need uh, volumes and therefore we use the same S2 stack into this PS5, the same S2 which is now perfect for as a range extender for China, there we will have high, high volumes. And with that high volumes, we have an opportunity to put down the cost for this product in the future. So, so how, can you go into more into details how to bring down costs? It's only a question of volumes, in fact. So that would be economies of scale? That's right. Um, now, your company has been really successful for the, for the past few years. Can you tell us, or other exhibitors, what is the, what is the reason for your success? I think all of our employees are very much committed to our core values. Our core values is quality, safety and environmental care. Mm -hmm. And with that as a base and also the fact that we would like to save the globe. We can foresee our products in different applications, real estate, marine, automotive, there are a lot of different applications, but we use the same components to make scale of efficiency and reduce and the cost. Have you been with the company since the very beginning? Yes, I, I myself is coming from the Volvo Group. Uh, I was vice president uh, responsible for corporate strategy and business development there over 20 years time. And then I was uh, chairman of the company from the start. And now I'm the CEO of the company. And c that is really impressive. And could you have imagined at that time when you were starting with the spin-off of the Volvo Group with the uh, company, could you have imagined that you've been he been here on the fair and making so many partnerships and selling products? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, uh, when we started this route in uh, 2008, uh, we didn't or we couldn't imagine about the consequences using diesel. We, we couldn't at all imagine the diesel gate uh, and the, the health situation. And therefore, everyone understand that we must very fast take out diesel, we must electrify, and we must replace it with fuel cells. And in the same time, we are closing down the nuclear stations, we are going over to wind and solar panel, uh, and the demand and supply are not meeting each other. Therefore, you must have something to store it in, and hydrogen is a very good product to store energy. So there is a, a divine a, a, where, where the automotive and real estate could really the driving forces is, are, are, is now coming together. And then for this year, who are you hoping to work with? Uh, in fact, uh, we will start to work with two Norwegian companies uh, at very soon, or today, in fact. Okay, yeah. so w would you like to say more about that? Or would yes, I, I, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce my Norwegian colleagues from uh, Hexagon. And where is our partner from Nell? He's not here. I just saw him uh, a few seconds ago. <laughs> okay, so let's introduce yourself. Yes. Okay, hello. Yeah. So my name is Jörn Helgedal. Uh, I am re representing Hexagon Composites. And uh, we are one of the partners here in this uh, JV. And, uh, we are the one filling all the gaps in the full value chain from the power production. Producing hydrogen, we can store and we can put it on board 
and we can deliver, transport it. So this is an observation that I've been making this year that um, people are joining forces, companies are coming together and filling in the gaps. We have the fuel cell system and then we have the hydrogen storage system working together and then also the electrolyzer company um, getting the hydrogen. So three different companies working together on one goal and then I would stress that we got this with three different companies all working together. Yes, and here is our friend from uh, Nell. Thank you, yes. sir. <laughs> Thank you. So we are just introducing. So one more time. <laughs> Let's take it there. Introduction of yourself and your company. Okay, so my name is uh, John Andre Locke. I'm the CEO of uh, Nell Hydrogen, and I'm the uh, one of the lucky partners of this uh, joint venture. And what is your company doing? So, um, Nell, we have a booth just over there. We are involved in electrolyzers and fueling stations. So we have a 90-year history which we are celebrating this year. We are producing uh, all from containerized electrolyzer solutions to very, very large plants. The biggest facility that we're now pre-engineering is a 400 megawatt uh, electrolyzer facility that is actually competing with uh, natural gas reforming. And then we have uh, fueling stations for uh, buses, trucks, um, cars, even trains and um, solutions, maritime solutions. So that's our contribution to the joint venture. So the combination of us three will really be a strength uh, position in the future. That is uh, really congratulations to all of you. I think you can all uh, benefit from the synergy effects of all uh, the different companies. And also I see a little bit Scandinavian power here. So do you think that Scandinavians are the role model in hydrogen technology? I mean, uh, there are different markets uh, which is now taking the lead. I would say the Japanese market is definitely taking the lead. Uh, the Chinese is on its way and uh, the Germans and the Scandinavian will be there as well. Okay. I'm convinced. So before um, this will get too big, we'll have a panel discussion. I and the time was already up. I'm really sorry I can't take the question right now. but. Um, you all can all be visited at your booth, and especially you, you will be at your booth, and the booth number is C53. C53. It is just down the aisle, and then if you have more detailed question regarding the fuel cell system PS5, which is brand new on the market, is launching actually this week, maybe today is the, the launching, so it's a brand new, new system. You can take all your questions to the booth. Thank you again. Thank you for Scandinavian Power. So that was a really nice talk with Pea Vassin, CEO of PowerCell. Thank you very much. And if you'd like to stay seated for another talk, then uh, you can stay. And that will, with Energy Saxony, presents the research activities and energy storage solutions from Saxony. That will be just in a few minutes' time. And for that, you will hear the managing director of Energy Saxony, Mr. Lukas Roleda. Thank you.